Now, we need to connect the 4 times table and the 8 times table. Now, every number that's in the 8 times table is also in the 4 times table. And to see that, and to understand why that is, on this top number line here, we can show our 4 times table, and then on this bottom number line, our 8 times table. So counting in fours, we have 4 and then 8, and 1 times 8 is 8. So notice 2 times 4 gives us the same answer as 1 times 8. If we continue counting in fours, we have 12 and then 16. But that's given us another 8 counters altogether. And of course, if we keep on counting in 8s, we get another 8 counters as well. So, 4 times 4 is the same as 2 times 8. We can keep going. So next we have 20, and then 24, and 24 is our next multiple of 8 as well. Because in both number lines, we've now got 8 more counters. Then we have 28 and 32, and 32 is the next multiple of 8. We have 36 and then 40, so 10 times 4 is 40, and 5 times 8 is also 40. So notice every number that's in the 8 times table is in the 4 times table as well. We have 44 and then 12 times 4 is 48. And because 12 times 4 is 48, we know that 6 times 8 must be 48 as well. And we can keep on counting in our 8 times table. And it's important to understand that all of these numbers that are in our 8 times table would also be in our 4 times table if we kept on counting in 4s. Now you can see here we have our 4 times table and our 8 times table written out. And if we double what's in the 4 times table, we get what's in the 8 times table. Remember to double a number, we add it to itself or multiply it by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 12 times 2 is 24 and so on. And looking at it the other way, if we halve what's in the 8 times table, we get what's in the 4 times table. Remember, to halve or to find half of a number, we divide it by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 24 divided by 2 is 12, and so on. And you can see every number in the 8 times table Every multiple of 8 is also a multiple of 4. So 1 times 8 is the same as 2 times 4. 2 times 8 is the same as 4 times 4. 3 times 8 is the same as 6 times 4. 4 times 8 is the same as 8 times 4. 5 times 8 is the same as 10 times 4. 6 times 8 is the same as 12 times 4. Because notice double 6 is 12 and half of 8 is 4. And all of these other numbers in our 8 times table would be in our 4 times table as well if we kept going past 12 times 4. So we know that if we double the 4 times table, we get the 8 times table. And to show that, on these top two number lines, we can show our 4 times table and then we can write out our 8 times table on this bottom number line. So 1 times 4 is 4, but if we show that twice, we get 1 times 8, because we have 8 counters altogether. 2 times 4 is 8, and if we show that twice, we get 16, which is 2 times 8, because we now have 16 counters altogether. 3 times 4 is 12, but if we show that twice, we have 24 counters altogether, and that's why 3 times 8 is 24. 
4 times 4 is 16, and if we double 16, we get 32. 5 times 4 is 20, and double 20 is 40, so that's why 5 times 8 is 40. 6 times 4 is 24, and 6 times 8 is 48. 7 times 4 is 28, and 7 times 8 is 56. So, 28 is half of 56, or double 28 is 56. Then, we have 32, and if we show that twice, we get 64. Then, 36, if we show that twice, we have 72, because 9 times 8 is 72. Then, 10 times 4 is 40, which means that 10 times 8 is 80. 11 times 4 is 44, and 11 times 8 is 88. 12 times 4 is 48, and 12 times 8 is 96. So now, on this top number line, we have our 8 times table, and we have the counters shown below. But if we split these counters in two, and take away half of them, you can see that what we have left gives us our 4 times table. And that's why, if we halve what's in the 8 times table, we get what's in the 4 times table. So half of 8 is 4, half of 16 is 8, half of 24 is 12, and so on. So now, we can see the 4 times table written out on a 100 square. And we know that every number in the 4 times table is an even number. So ends in a 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. But now, if we show our 8 times table, so our multiples of 8 on a 100 square, you can see that again we get a similar pattern. Every multiple of 8 also ends in a 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. So multiples of 8 are always even numbers as well. And notice all of these numbers that we have highlighted, we also had highlighted when we showed our 4 times table. So every multiple of 8 is also a multiple of 4.